Hey, today we're gonna see how to uh, pick up some weapons. So let's see what is gonna be the end result. So we have our tree weapon on the ground here. If I walk over it, it's doing absolutely nothing. And if I walk over the cube, the L cube is picking up the L cube automatically. So if I take the sniper rifle here, when I click E, I have the sniper rifle in my hand, press B, sniper rifle fall on the ground. I can take the sniper rifle back. I can go over the shotgun here, pick up the shotgun. So I press E, the sniper rifle will fall on the ground. And now I can pick up the shotgun. Same thing with the assault rifle. Pick up E, the shotgun fall on the ground. And I can take back the shotgun if I want to. Or I can take the assault rifle. So we're going to see how to do this in this uh, video. So the first thing we're going to go uh, do is go under the military weapon dark. And under the weapon folder, we're going to select our assault rifle B and we're going to open it. And here we're going to create a static mesh of it because we don't have a static mesh and we need that to use that on our uh, weapon itself. So we're going to create a static mesh. We're going to select our military weapon dark. We're going to put this under our weapon folder. I'm going to call that SM under score assault rifle. I'm going to save it and I'm going to close it. I'm going to do the same thing for our sniper rifle. So we're going to select our sniper rifle that is just here. We're going to open it, create a static mesh of it. Same location. We're going to put that under our weapon folder. We're going to call that SM sniper and we're going to save it. And the last one is our shotgun. So we're going to go select our shotgun B, open it, make a static mesh of it. Military weapon dark. We're going to put that under our weapon folder, SM underscore shotgun. And we're going to save that. So now we have our three static mesh, so we're all good with this. So we're going to go in every of those static mesh and we're going to make sure that we have a collision around the weapon because now there's absolutely no collision and we're going to need a collision if you want to put physics on the object. So we're going to select our assault rifle, we're going to under collision and just select the last one. So it's going to go around our weapon and save. We're going to do the same thing for the other one for the shotgun and same thing for the sniper rifle. And we're all good with that. So now we can close each of them. Now we're all set and ready to go. So we're going to go all the way up to our item folder. And we have our weapon class here, our weapon master class. So we're going to create three weapon master class, one for each of our weapon. So we're going to create a child of it. And I'm going to call that assault rifle. And we're going to need one for for all the other. I mean, one. we're going to need another one for the uh, shotgun. Shotgun. And we're going to need another one for our sniper. There you go. Now we're going to take all those beautiful weapon and put that under our folder guns. And we're going to do the same thing for our weapon pickup. We're going to create three child blueprint. And we're going to use the same name. So assault rifle. Another time for our shotgun. And one more time for our sniper. There we go. I'm going to take our tree weapon and we're going to move that under a gun. Perfect. So we have an assault rifle, a sniper rifle, and a shotgun. We're going to start by our assault rifle. We're going to open our assault rifle. Our first person gun will be or static mesh for the assault rifle, so assault rifle B. I'm gonna compile this. I'm gonna make sure that we select on the top here the assault rifle itself and the weapon pickup. So the weapon that's gonna drop on the ground when we have our, this weapon in our end and we press B on the keyboard to drop our weapon, it's gonna create the pickup and the pickup we want to create is the assault rifle pickup. And we're gonna save that. We're gonna close it up open our shotgun, do exactly the same thing. We're going to select our static mesh for our shotgun. And we're going to click on the top here, make sure that our pickup will be our shotgun. And we're going to close this up. 
and we're gonna open our sniper rifle which is right uh, there first person gun and we're gonna search for sniper we're gonna click on the top here we're gonna make sure that our weapon pickup would be our uh, shotgun uh, or sniper that it's not there <laughs> so I'm gonna go create this I think I forget to create the sniper so weapon class create a child of it and I'm gonna call that sniper okay, I'm gonna move that to my gun here now I have my sniper here so I'm gonna open my sniper gonna make sure that weapon pickup is my sniper so now we're good with this I'm gonna compile this and we're gonna close this so we have our three weapons that it's the weapon that we're gonna have in our hand when we pick up a weapon now we're gonna go to the assault rifle pickup and our static mesh is gonna be the static mesh that's created for the assault rifle so we're gonna search for assault rifle that is right here we're gonna select our static mesh and we're gonna compile that if we click on the top here on the um, I mean on the root of that weapon we have our weapon to give so that's the pickup right so the pickup will give a weapon to the player which in this case will be our assault rifle right here and don't bother with the uh, weapon pickup here right we're not gonna touch this for now so we're gonna compile this we're gonna go back and we're gonna go to our shotgun pickup same thing we're gonna go on our pickup mesh we're gonna select our shotgun not shot but shotgun right here gonna make sure that we click on the root and the weapon to give when we pick that up is gonna be our blueprint shotgun we're gonna save that and the same thing for our sniper rifle we're gonna take our first person weapon you see same thing again here it's not the good one that I open so I'm gonna open the blueprint pickup for the sniper rifle and I'm gonna search for sniper and on the root itself for the weapon to give is gonna be our sniper rifle should be all set now if we click here on each of the weapon if we search for physic we should have physic here oh not on the root itself but on the static mesh I'm gonna search for physic and now we have the physic it's enabled you can see that it's not gray out if it's gray out it's because you need collision on your static mesh so make sure that you put collision on your static mesh and you will be all good so we're gonna check this box for all of our weapon uh, right here and this one right down here so we're gonna say save and compile and now we're, our weapon should be all set and good to go we're gonna try this out so we're gonna put in the game we always put the pickup on the ground we never put the uh, weapon itself because the weapon itself like the assault rifle here it's the weapon that we have in our hand but when we put the pickup it's already creating that in our hand when we do pick it up so we always put the pickup weapon on the ground here so we're gonna put the three weapons so we have three of them so now physic is enabled on them so if I walk over it's doing nothing but if I walk over the cube the L cube it's picking up automatically so if I click E it's gonna take the gun and put it in my hand as you can see I have it in my hand now if I press B it's dropping it on the ground so I'm gonna go and pick up the other one now I have the sniper rifle in my hand press B drop on the ground I'm gonna take the shotgun here we have it in our end press B drop on the ground so let's see drop weapon work correctly when we already have it open so I have a weapon in my hand don't bother with the flashlight we're gonna fix that later so if I take that you see it's dropping the gun on the ground first so the shotgun now I can take the sniper rifle so it's not switching it automatically you know I press E it's dropping up and now I can take back the sniper rifle if I press E to drop it up I have to move out of the collision box and I can take this one so it's not perfect right now but we can see that I don't have to press B manually just press E let's drop the weapon because there is one on the ground and I can pick up 
the next web. So that's pretty much what I wanted to show you on this video. So I will catch you on uh, the next one.